And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for Echo Nasus, our last random champion de uh, deck for the day here. It's random champion casual Friday. We just um, you know, randomly generated some different champion pairings and this was one Echo and Nasus together. And that's pretty nice for, for Echo because we, we started with the first one was going to be Echo and then we found a Sharima champion to go along with Echo. So we have some extra Sharima predict cards. So that's going to be nice for leveling up um, Echo. Got a bunch of like different cards in here. Lots of two ofs, lots of one ofs. Because whenever you have all this predict and you can find so many different cards in your deck, you're uh, going to want to have um, access to a lot of different cards uh, for different situations. And that what we, that's what we have. I wanted to play more Preservariums, but just couldn't fit them in. there. That was like one of the last cards that I kind of had to trim, hoping that the time tricks can find us like the specific cards that we need for our card advantage um yeah but we're we're gonna want to level up echo of course get chrono breaks so they can rally that could be pretty cool um as far as like nasus goes we're not necessarily going to be able to slay like tons and tons of things so like getting to 10 is going to be difficult for nasus so we have a few things to help it out we're going to have siphoning strike in here to be able to grant our champions plus two plus two so that's going to help nasus out and also a Chrono Shift. I think Chrono Shift's a kind of an underrated card, but it, it could be really good against like Sivir decks, right? Like you block Sivir and then you Chrono Shift. And then like the, the quick attack happens first, your champion dies, then it comes back plus three, plus three, and then kills the Sivir. I don't know, that could be kind of cool. Um, you know, but that's also good champion protection and the plus three, plus three can help get that Nasus to be 10. Uh, something about these like with... Echo's champion spell allows you to, you know, the called shot gets you the parallel convergence. If you if you have a leveled up Nasus in play and then you parallel convergence, then all enemies have minus two, minus zero, and you have like, you know, two couple big, huge, fearsome things. You're probably killing them with that. Um, but yeah. Anyway, Fallen Feline with the Hexite Crystals, those could do a really good job of slaying stuff to help out Nasus. Like that could be pretty cool. So let's just give it a try. Who knows what's going to happen here? This should be a fun one to just experiment with. So we have Echo Nasus. We'll go play our five games here in Master's Rank. Oh, no, I should change the board. I don't want to Shadow Isles board for Echo Nasus. Too late for that. We have, um, you know, too late for that. All right, Action Sivir. Let's know, keep all of it. I don't love Scrying Sands, but in this kind of matchup, this could be a good Scrying Sands matchup that's so important on attacking and blocking. And this is three total predict cards already for Echo. That's good. we choose we make more copies of kind of guess chronomancer no i think we just skip i think maybe we're just gonna skip there but that's our first predict must be nice living off stolen coin Second predict. All right, more copies of Nasus. So right now we've slain one enemy. Maybe more copies of Perfectionist. Oh, 
Not a chance. So whenever we find Echo, Echo will be leveled up. It's just waiting to be found. I'm going to need champions, though. Man, I can't find Echo. I wanted to find Echo right there with my Predict card, my Predict, then draw one. Uh, that's what I was hoping. And then I could have had Echo here and then, you know, play Echo last round, then I'd have Chrono Shift to protect Echo. Quicksand can be pretty useful. Maybe they don't have more sharp sights and everything like that. Wow. Got to slay a sivir. That's a rare sight. That is a rare sight indeed. They can make burst speed 5 too. Alright, so they got lots of cards still, more cards than I have. I really want to play Nasus, and I think that's what I'm just doing this round. And again, if they have. Oh, they don't have more challenge type cards. Seen tombs, towns, and everything in between. Please just pass. Okay. Okay. Finding these extra preservarians. Where's our echoes? Got your back. Where is our echoes? Time any more time. Gently, gently. <laughs> it enough. After them. So I got Chrono Shift. So it dies. <sighs> dies with Quick Attack. And then it comes back with plus three, plus three. So it has an 8-8. Eight, eight. This is the idea of Chrono Shift. You can thank me later. Well, 
I guess they can also just have that and just have these things with 16 overwhelm. So right now I'm not dead. I don't know what they're thinking about. I have no... Okay. So that puts me to four. But keeps their thing alive. So I would have been at one with them having a dead action. And me having NASA still. But now I'm at four. And they get to keep action. Yeah, their deck's pretty good. I think their deck's pretty good. Finally, Echo! Echo, finally! Been waiting for you. Okay, let's see. So basically have to hit Chrono Break. Got a lizard and a shovel. I'll stop you. Yeah, I mean we're we're really dead. We're not always going to beat the the best deck in the format. Not gonna happen every time. We found Chrono Break. That was the card I said we had to find. Nothing personal. Hug it down. We did find Chrono Break. So we put ourselves in, in position. Oh, right. I remember this. Okay, that didn't help too much. See what we can get. I don't need rules to know good from bad. Man, we are not very good at this. I basically, I need so I need like my Mystic Shot. Like I've been looking for Mystic Shot in the Hexite Crystal. You like those kind of cards? Um. Chronomancer, I guess, gives me a cheap blocker. All coming back to me now.
Hmm. It's more mystic shots in my deck, but I was waiting for you. Oh, what time means anything to you? I don't have the mana. Excite crystal there. I mean, I don't, I don't, yeah, I mean, I. Block first doesn't really matter either, like, I'm, we're dead. I don't have enough blockers. Yeah, we were... Yes, we were dead no matter what I did. I, I had to just hope they'd make a mistake, but obviously this this rank, they probably don't make a mistake. But we we were dead that whole round. We didn't get any XP on Nasus? I guess because we lost. We played Nasus. They got me with that single combat. Single combat. Killed my Nasus. Oh, I didn't think about changing the board. I'm sorry, Red Cannon. You're right. I, I forgot to change the board again. So, yeah, we're going to have bad luck again. If I draw a Mystic with Preservarium, we're dead. Like, we just can't handle, like, another Waking Sands. Like, we lose on the spot. That, that, that wasn't an option. I think this is a keep. We want to wait till Echo is leveled up before we play Echo, but I want to have Echo. My plans. Oh, that, that must be nice. I think it's going to do a lot of damage to me if I don't kill it. It's not like I want to have my Perfectionist block it later. Yeah, I needed Hexite Crystal, but even with Hexite Crystal, we were just basically dead. I guess more perfectionist. More fallen felines or pass. Skip. Good card to Mystic Shots. No landmark. 
I like that Chrono Shift. Chrono Shift for Echo. I like that. I don't know if like the two, three, two, four things that great. Well, guess I did that. All right, more time tricks. Mm, they got a second crystal. We have a lot of crystals and time trick, or and uh, time bombs. Sorry. <laughs> so the problem with killing Zillion is they if they have another Zillion. Next round, I will have enough mana for Echo plus Chrono Shift. I'm not sure if we've really done too much slaying for Nasus. Alright, time for us to have a level up that go. We'll hopefully be able to strike with ours with uh, getting zero mana time trick. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I do my own stunts. So I want to trade away cards. Even if it's like not the best trade, because I don't want like my stuff just dying to time bombs for free. See what I've learned? I just hmm. That time bomb's kind of the problem. Tell me, I love that. Quit struggling. What is this all about? Quicksands, barriers. Quicksand. Um. Yeah, Doctor Warrior. I don't. I, I can't really answer that during like the middle of a video here. I'm sorry. I'm too much. Too much thinking going on. So I can either save this with, you know, the hourglass or the chrono shift. We both get time tricks. I think I'm going with the chrono shift. At 
least we haven't seen them get a Hexite Crystal yet. We could, you know, still have naturally drawn Hexite Crystals, of course. Siphoning Strike also, of course, really good with the Echo, where we can get the zero cost uh, time trick whenever it strikes. At least I didn't have those other things die for free. I guess I should have attacked with the 4 2 as well. But yeah, leveled up Zillion and Echo. I don't. I don't know which one I need to kill. I mean, yeah, it looks... <laughs> this is the deck that... The Zillion Echo deck, as I've talked about plenty before, this is the deck that I always lose to, yet whenever I play it myself, we do not get very good hands, and I always lose. Like, you know, I don't get round one Fallen Feline, round two Zillion, and then another Zillion. You know, like, that kind of stuff just doesn't happen for me. So we have to kill Zillion so they don't get to create, you know, get so much card advantage with all the free cards. Um, I think that's step one, I suppose. That's new. You're provoking it. Just out of green. Okay, so gonna get that Hexite Crystal in here. Maybe we will get lucky and draw Hexite Crystal. Nope, but another Siphoning Strike. I think I'm taking that over Merciless Hunter. mana unit. Nope. So it's 15, puts me down to 3. With all their Hexite Crystals, everything, imagine we are pretty dead. <laughs> Nasus is only a 4-4 right now. Oh, wait, no, no, it's a 4-4 it's a with... Okay. Alright, so next round, I will have 11 mana, so I will have Nasus plus Siphoning Strike mana. Champion spells Cold Shunt. Or the Hunter. Probably just need the cheap card in the Hunter. I have the mana for a rock hopper hunter siphoning strike altogether. But yeah, definitely worried about d just dying to time bombs, hexite crystals, mystic shots, all of that. So let's see. Quite unfortunate. Neverglade Collector? I guess I can Merciless Hunter that thing, I guess. You look at this place? Yeah, I guess you can Merciless Hunter it.
Never mind. Alright, so they were just a better... Yeah, they are just a much better predict deck with them having, you know, multi, you know they played two zillions, I played zero Nasus, right? And then the two zillions made the time bombs. And that just got them pretty far ahead compared to me not playing an Nasus, not having an Nasus. GG's. Hey, Scorby. I think this has been a pretty good success, the random champion day. The first two decks definitely did better, has have done better than the last two, but we have not had any luck the last few rounds, that's for sure. Um, you know, like with Lissandra Trundle and Echo Nasus. And so that's going to happen sometimes. All right, so this looked like a really good hand, you know, t until you realize that we're playing against Piltover and Zon, Twisted Fate, which means lots of Mega Rain, lots of red card, lots of Static Shock, one health units, um, therefore not being desirable. I still think that we keep both Fallen Felines um, because of how good they are. Now, I don't really want to play the second Fallen Feline into Mega Rain. See, there we go. That's why. Gonna be a little patient on that. Darius is your favorite? Nice, yeah. Now, we did pretty good there with the Darius then. So I know I could have done this during combat, but I want uh, I want them to you know then have priority, right? I won't be able to do that here. Give them priority. Okay, merchant. All right, merchant. I will thermo. I think. You know, see if I want to see if I wanted to uh, merciless hunter. Hmm. I guess I could wait, I got Hexite Crystal. And more Mystic Shots on top. Alright, just gonna pass. See if they wanna also pass the round. So maybe playing a Nasus this round, okay. Chrono Shift. I wasn't expecting quicksand. I was like, how are they playing quicksand? They remember that they nabbed that. That was the card they nabbed. Hope revived it. Yeah, I mean I guess so. I wanted to, of course, go to the next round. I, I had the back of Nasus, which gave me a little bit more flexibility in playing that, I think, but obviously I wanted to go to the next round to be able to have Chrono Shift available with that. Do you think Caitlyn Nasus could be good based on what you, what you know is coming? Um, I don't know. I'd have to take a look at it and everything. I don't know. I don't. I don't have all the like the new cards, um, really memorized or anything right now, right? So like I, I know obviously like we I read Caitlyn, we went over it, all that kind of stuff. But I, I couldn't tell you exactly what the card does and everything. So I don't. I, yeah, I'm not sure. Shape 
what you want without mercy. That old trick again. Out of the way. If I only block here. I have to block here. I can't go on that that low of a life total. I don't think. I would prefer to play Echo, but Echo dies to Mystic Shot right now. Back in the game. I don't know, maybe this is just not anything I should be doing. Yeah. I think I could just play the Nasus first and wait on the Chrono Break. At least finally we're killing this ballistic bot. I think that's seven losses in a row now. Man, I, I cannot have things go right. GG's opponent. GG's. So that's Powder Pandemonium. Makes a Powder Monkey every time they've they've enabled Plunder that game. And they've they enabled Plunder like eight times with all those Monster Harpoons and other stuff like that. And so it just puts all those Powder Monkeys in play and... I used my Hexite Crystal, I guess I shouldn't have. <laughs> yeah, basically harrowing. Yeah, basically harrowing. It's another game that I think that, you know, if I if I know exactly what's happening every single round, we go back, like, we replay it, you know, like, there's plenty of points that we could do a different thing and, you know, do a different sequence and have it work out a lot better. But I just don't think that, yeah, just, just have it. Any, the sequences I've been taking today have not been working out. Put it that way. Quicksand is a card that is really, really good against Zed. And so even though it would cost an additional mana because of what they're playing, I do want access to that Quicksand. Just take another Pollen Feline and put another Hexite Crystal in there. I mean, getting more Merciless Hunters is never bad. You could do that as well. Of course, I don't have another way to predict right now, but I assume I'm going to be drawing more ways to predict. Even though, of course, you never know. That's kind of the assumption. Find more predict. They'll never see us coming. Catch me if you can. It's not safe. Echo. Echo can be more ways to predict, but Echo has to strike and then spend three mana. 
That's all a little far-fetched. I shall pass. Keep your head down, okay? Arna's gonna make a meal of them! We'll get our licks in! I think I trade... Four three three four. Rangers resolve. Okay, sharp sight. All right. Happy with that. I will trade all in the line for a sharp sight. Do not fear the shrouded path. I walk your path alone. Yes. Sand and trouble. Let's get this Far thing to block. Okay, so they have pump spells. That's not good. My desert, my rules. <laughs> Wow! Did not have pump spell. Yeah, the stony suppressor is annoying, but I'm more. I'd rather just take away their ways of winning the game. So we can see. All right. So they had two cards in hand last round. We can assume neither of them are pump spells. Okay. Awesome. And so if they would play the third card, then we would know that they wouldn't have a pump spell kind of thing. It was a good bluff. I mean, I guess you know, like they didn't have very much. It looks like the bluff was probably worth it if you don't have very much. We got a win. We got a win. All right, back to back to win, man. We can get we can win this and have a two three, two three is not bad. Go win two in a row. Silver action. So they playing Freljord. This is going to be tough to beat, like always. They got Freljord for their other region. So I'm playing some of the same cards they got right here with Treasure Seeker, Ruin Runner. Freljord offers Troll Chance. That's probably the number one card. Also have oh, Omen Hawk. Wow, Omen Hawk is awesome. Yeah, Omen Hawk with that stuff. Like just growing Sivir, Ruin Runner, Merciless Hunter. Yeah, Omen Hawk is clutch. You know, you can also have like Brittle Steel, Elixir of Iron, all that. I don't need rules to know good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's good. Never had luck, never needed it. Omen Hawk is the best card ever. Mm -hmm. 
I think that's safe to say. Convergence in the deck. Six hand is good. Seen tools, towns, and everything in between. Planning on challenging Sivir and Ruin Runner with these things. We love it when they run. I, go, I, go. I won't have the mana to create or to play the create a time trick. They want to spend a card killing my Echo. Hopefully that means they don't get to save these things, right? It's the hope. Hey, you want me to rewind? You need more time. Surprised they have Scrying Sands in their deck. Like, I think you'd just rather play Elixir of Iron. Like, Elixir of Iron does the same thing, but Elixir of Iron counts as a target for action. It works out better a lot of other times. But yeah, this is the... <laughs> this is the best ever deck. I mean, this is... Usually, action... Like, Action Sivir is the best combination right now. It is. But throw Omen Hawk on round one, and then plus Troll Chant and just say you're going to get a 3-3 three, three action and a 6-4 Sivir. You cannot run from yeah, I mean... They just made the best deck better with Omen Honk and Troll Champ. GG's. Yeah, kind of sums up our luck today. We were doing good at first, but man, we ran into some terrible luck there, those last two uh, decks that we played. So there we go, that was Echo Nasus. As far as like building the deck goes, I was pretty happy with it. I think uh, like the Ride Negation didn't seem to be necessary, but overall I think I was pretty happy with like what our deck was doing. We just you know ran into some, some poor luck and everything like that. It happens, but yeah, the Ride Negation was probably my least favorite card in the deck. I liked the Chrono Shift and the Siphoning Strikes. Um, they all did some work, but... You know, Nasus just... Nasus, I guess, just as our other champion, right? Like, it just wasn't, you know, wasn't nearly as good as, like, what Zillion would have been. It was just very expensive. We hardly ever had it, but when we did have it, it was basically, like, a six-mana 5-5. Five, five. <laughs> you know, like, this, this just isn't a great Nasus deck. Um... You know, there's better ways to build around Nasus, but that's what random champion combinations all about, right? Like you're not always gonna have like the best deck for your champion, right? Like that's just not gonna happen. Um, and so that there we go. You know, like we could be playing it normal, you know, like with these decks with these brews to have them have some more wins, but it's it's fun taking them on over to ranked and just seeing what happens. 
All right, but that's going to be it here for Echo NASA. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, let me know what you think of these decks. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the, the day today with these uh, random champion combinations. If you want to see them in normal next time, let me know. If, you know, instead of playing against the best decks in the format to maybe have, like, we'll have a better record, you know, but, it, you know, won't be like the, you know, won't always be against the best decks because of that. But, uh, yeah, let me know. All right, but that's going to be it here for Echo NASA. So as always, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you for the next video.